I heard that synthetic THC called K2 or spice can be very dangerous. Is that true? Well, that is for sure true. Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Stein, Neurology of Cannabis owner and board certified neurologist, and we will address that issue today. Thank you for tuning in. K2 or spice is a synthetic form of THC that has been sold all over the place and caused terrible consequences. There's even been headlines in the news about zombies because patients that take these synthetic THC molecules sometimes act very strangely. It turns out that the synthetic forms of THC that are being sold under those names can bind to the CB1 receptors in the brain and not let go. Even though tetrahydrocannabinol, THC, the naturally occurring cannabinoid, binds to the CB1 receptor, it is not as bound tightly as these K2 spice and other synthetic cannabinoids are binding to the CB1 receptor. What this means is that a naturally occurring cannabinoid can have an effect on the nervous function and allow a certain euphoria, appetite stimulation, creative energy, and so forth, and then let go of that CB1 receptor. But these synthetic pharmaceuticals, K2 and spice, for example, don't let go of the receptor and trigger an irreversible type of psychiatric behavior disorder that has been, promote, that has been in the news lately. So I urge you and, and anyone you know to avoid these types of synthetic cannabinoids. They're dangerous. And promote a more legal approach to acquiring medical cannabis in your state if that's not already available. I know you may have your own questions, and feel free to call us at 941-400-1211 or email info at neurologyofcannabis.com. We are here to answer your questions, so please feel free to call. Thanks.